What's going on, people? Batman back out here again. I know it's been a while, but hey, happy birthday, Merry Christmas, happy Halloween, Merry Christmas, ha. <clears throat> happy New Year, happy Thanksgiving, which I don't celebrate, and all the other goodies that 2021 will going to bring us. Anyways, <clears throat> if you go and get the vaccine shot, there's a 60-40 chance that you're going to die. There's a 70-30 chance you're going to end up with heart disease. Yes. It's that Pfizer, I guess they call themselves Pfizer, that came out with the vaccine. 11 people die so far. Hmm. But here at the McDermott vaccine, nobody's been killed, nobody's been hurt, nobody's getting sick. Something to think about. Hello, open up your eyes, open up your ears, look and listen. But you don't know who you can trust. CNN, NBC, ABC, you know, CBS, all these media news anchors out there. Only one who you can believe. Is the person that actually got sick or that person that actually died from the vaccine. They're giving vaccines to people that actually have coronavirus. Okay, let's see what's going to happen. So they're actually using the corona patients as guinea pigs. Why is that? I don't understand that. They got a New York, state of New York, they got this thing called the different sections of different people of different ages can go get the vaccines. It's only supposed to be the elders first, but no. You go to a Rite Aid pharmacy, you go to a Walgreens pharmacy out here. Kids are 16, 10, 20, maybe in the 30s years old getting these vaccines before the elders. That's a good way to test out now. We are perfect guinea pigs. Yes. <clears throat> Oh my gosh, all you people are so stupid out there. What is rioting, what is protesting? Spreading, they're spreading the human genocide, suicide. Spread that coronavirus, kill yourselves. Because at least one thing, us indigenous Native Americans will be able to get our land back. Yes, get our land back. So if you want to kill each other, do all this bullshit, by all means, be my guest, have fun, go die, go kill yourself. That's what you're doing. Killing yourself and killing other people. And they're all mostly, well, mostly white, European, Caucasian, Americans, men and women. <laughs> Stupid. You police officers, you firefighters, people in the military who are retired, who are retired or whatever. You're being so fucking stupid. And you want people you want your children, your grandchildren, to follow into your footsteps? You are setting a great example on how people should kill themselves. <laughs> Fucking dumb. Plain and simple. Hate me, respect me, it's up to you. I've seen at least about six of my videos so far on Facebook. Thank you. I'm not all about popularity. I'm all about common sense of just speaking the truth. Some people don't like it when reality bites them in the ass because I say something. Oh, you know what you're talking about, Matt. Matthew, you don't know what you're talking about. About the coronavirus. Four days later, they get it. Six days later, they die. Okay, I don't know what I'm talking about. I stay home. Literally. I stay home, sit on my ass. If I need to go out, yes, I will put my mask on. But if I don't have to, why should I have to go outside into the world? For what reason? It makes no sense to me. Especially all you white women. You European American white women. They're so stupid, so gullible. You believe what Donald Trump says to you. Which is just stupid. I mean, you go to look up in Canada. They're the ones who got locked down. They're the ones who are flying the curve. In Canada. Our neighbors. They're flattening the curve. Actually, they might even put a flat line in it. 
because I know the lockdowns. That's a smart way to do it. If you need to go out, you go out and do something. But don't go out and gavel in and lollygag and this and that. <laughs> Fucking America is so stupid. Literally. Why? Why? Why would this racism bullshit? Why? What's the point of it? If only people that should be racist should be indigenous Native Americans like myself, which I'm not a racist, or African Americans. They're the ones that should be the biggest racist people of them all. We should be, but we're not. We're not. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> yeah. It's just, man, people have no common sense. People have no respect for human life. That is just plain stupid. Seriously, plain stupid. Oh, and if you see in the background me, if you see a shadow person or if you see a spirit or entity, let me know, okay? Found out that I got three spirits in my house. They came back. Ah, this is just too weird. But they don't bother me. They're not poltergeists. You know, they're not going around and trying to hurt me or trying to hurt my little puppy. So, they're good people. Good spirits. Respectful spirits. I always offer them food and water every day. I always put a plate out for somebody who was here. It's just called respect. I mean, with all these people who are doing these paranormal investigations, and they want to do the Ouija boards and all that, hey, have fun. Have, have the fun. Have those games. You know, by all means, shoot, experience it and see what happens. It's just the consequences. It could be deadly or it could be okay. They, you do not offer the dead, the spirits, the entities, the shadow people, the orbs, the paranormal. You do not offer them any water or any food. Except for one person I see from time to time that does that is exploring with Angelo. He's the only one that I see that actually offers candy, especially to a child spirit. Much respect to you, exploring with Angelo up in Canada. Much respect to you. But a lot of people don't do that. And then they wonder why they get touched, they get scratched. Oh man, holy cats, I got another subscriber. Cool. Got another subscriber. All right. Thank you, whoever you are. Yeah, subscribe. Hit that like button. Share your opinion. Let me know what you think. And what I got to say. Hate on me all you want. It ain't going to bother me. I'm not going to retaliate because I'm an adult. I'm 46 years old. I don't need to retaliate if somebody's got something stupid to say to me. I just ignore it. But all the positive comments that people are leaving me, yeah, I respond back to you. I send the heart to you. I thank you for the respect. But, hey, common sense. It's either your choice to use it or not. But when you don't use it, you don't think about the consequences. You don't think before you say, you don't think before you do. It's deadly. Then you're going to regret it. Then you're going to be on social media complaining about it because it was your dumb ass, not to use your common sense. <laughs> oh shit, my joint went out. Oh man. I'm not on here for PayPal. I'm not on here to make money. I don't sell no merch. I don't do all that nonsense. Don't need to. Don't want to. But, hey Mosarji, I ordered two shirts from you three months ago. How come I haven't received anything yet? Just refund my money. Refund my money. On the two hoodies and a t-shirt I ordered from you. Remember, there are 5X. You never can... Two months ago? What the heck? But anyways. What's up to Project Dark Side, Stella and Monica? What's up? Going on too with Exploring Felicity. She's a raw deal. 
even Project Darkseid, they're, they're raw deals, straight up, paranormal. Investigators. What's up with Proven Demons with Andrew? He's the only guy that I know of that likes to fuck with the demons. And he goes on his merry way and live his life as he does. Much respect to you, Andrew. Yeah, he's in the UK. He's done a lot. He's seen a lot. He's been a lot. He's done a lot. Oh, man. And say what's up to Carl from Project. No, Project. Was it Project? No, Dark Arts TV. That's right. Carl Hansel. What's up with that guy? He wants you to send comments to his videos, to let you know if you see anything or hear anything, but when you do, he doesn't respond back to you. He gets touched. You let him know that something's behind him. He doesn't respond back to you. So I guess, hey, whatever happens, it happens. I keep seeing a spirit over there. Right there in my corner, I keep seeing a shadow person. I always offer him water and bread, but they don't bother me. Oh. Anyways, I'll come back on later on, talk some more stuff. But seriously, what you think about the vaccine? What you think about the coronavirus? Do you really want to take a chance of getting a vaccine, getting sick, or even dying from it? Or what? Let me know in the comment. Common sense. Do you use it or no? Leave it in the comment. Later.